Hey guys, ah, thanks for joining me today. River is open. Good news, that means we get to start hauling corn out of the dry bin and uh, over to the neighbors to their semis and then eventually we'll be able to empty the wet bin, which means eventually I'll be able to empty the wagons, which then I can finish my last three acres of corn. Um, it's a fantastic, gorgeous day. 25 degrees and that wind is just howling. Um, yeah, let's move this auger.
with the auger in place. Now it's time to get Big Blue under the auger and uh, see what we can uh, what we can get done. too long because it's kind of dusty but oh, it feels good to get this out of the bin some guys don't worry but man I worry every day I got corn in a bin or beans sitting in a bin all it takes is some moisture to sneak in there and you get a hot spot it ain't hard to ruin a bin of grain um, so I probably run the fan more than I should I probably over the dry, over dry the corn a little bit but knock on wood so far it's coming in good now i just sit here and wait till i get about 27,000, 28,000 pounds and then we head on down the road i'm going to put in 28,000, half a semi is 26,000. i don't want to carry a whole semi in one load because road restrictions are on that's why a semi can't come here if i owned my own semi i would risk the couple miles to get to a county road um I would not go through this hassle if I had my own semi, but uh, I don't expect a, a higher driver to do something illegal at the same time. So road restrictions are on. That means a full semi can't come in here. So they're a few miles down the road. So I buggy, I shuttle with the buggy to their place. I don't want to put a whole semi load in here. Uh, one, because the roads are, the frost isn't coming out, but it kind of is in some spots and I don't want to sink the buggy. And then two, um, you get 53,000 pounds in the buggy plus 12,000 pounds in the buggy. You know, you got 65,000 pounds on one axle. We got a small bridge I cross. Everybody says that bridge is just fine, but man, that, that 32 tons on one axle. I don't know. That just, yeah, I've been on the bottom side of bad bridges enough. It, it makes me nervous. Um, so I just take the time and make two trips and uh, get it done and get it done safe. Uh, it's a whole lot easier to control 30,000 pounds behind you than 60,000. And so, well, I, the waiting, the waiting just begins and we'll head off down the road here in a few minutes. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I'm a farmer or that's my livelihood for the year being dumped in there. Um, but there's just something about flowing grain. We're only at about 15,000 pounds. Got a little ways to go yet, but geez, it's just relaxing and calming to watch the grain flow.
Well, we got our 26,000, so let's, uh, let's uh, hit the road, Jack, as they say. unloading here um, so in theory this whole load should fill the front half of the truck and we'll go home and do it again uh, not a bad day I guess starting to make quote unquote some money all right guys thank you much